right? And it's called Ready Player One. Great book. So what happens in it is there's this nerd, right? And he's like, oh, I like video games. So then there's this other guy who comes on TV. And he's like, hey, I'm dead. But inside my game that I created that you all play, there's these three eggs. And if you find them, my game is yours. So everyone's like, cool. And then everyone's like, well, I still like video games. And so inside this game is uh, the VR. And so he has this little VR headset on and his gloves. And inside the VR, you can change yourself. So he changed himself to be really buff and manly. So there's all these different worlds, right? Like a Lord of the Rings world, a Harry Potter world that you can travel to. But you need money. Inside this, they go to school. So inside the VR, he goes to school and he's trying to figure out all these clues while going to school. But he doesn't have any money to travel to different worlds. So he decides to walk around school and he finds this cave, right? So he's like, oh, Holiday must have put this cave here, blah, blah, blah. And so he goes in there, and he figures out that he has to actually fight against the Cyclops in a game of Joust. So he beats the guy in a game of Joust, right? Yay! And he wins an egg. So afterwards, his name goes up on a leaderboard. As he's walking out, he's like, wow, you're hot. And he knows who it is. It's, it's Artemis. She's another famous gaunter, I think they're called. So he wins a bunch of money. He gets new VR, new gloves, new armor. And his name goes up on the leaderboard with Artemis's and the bad guys. So everyone figures out exactly where it is. All right? A bunch of months go by. And they end up, the bad guys end up figuring out that he lives up there at the top of the stack. So they send a missile to his house. Yep, a missile apparently looks like an arrow. So they destroy his house. But he's actually chilling inside of a little car outside of his house the entire time. So he moves to an apartment in Chicago, <clears throat> and he's like, I want to black everything out, and I want to just live in here and find all the eggs. So he locks the door, and we go on, and he tries to figure out the clue number two, which he realizes is in Holiday's house. So he goes inside Holiday's house, and he's like, I like how I spell it different each time. He's like, oh, I uh, know that it's a certain cartridge that goes in there. So then it goes into War Games, and he has to finish the lines of War Games. If you do, you get the right points, and you move on. At the end of War Games, we all know, boop, 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 boop. Sometimes the best way is not to play. Do you want to play a game? So he ends up winning the egg, which has another clue on it. And a bunch more months go by. And then we see Artemis and him, and he goes, hey, do you want to team up? And she said, no, I work alone. He's like, all right. He asks her again, he's like, hey, do you want to team up? She's like, sure. So then they go and team up at this little ball where the gravity is no more. And these guys break in and they're like, hey, we know you're here, nerd. So they start shooting at him and Artemis. And so Artemis is like, um, we can no longer work together. And she like walks away. He starts crying. His heart breaks because he loves her. Right. So then she either gets arrested by the bad guys or he starts working out in his apartment and gets really buff. Um... I don't know, somehow he wants to go into the bad guy's headquarters. So he fakes his way in, and he's like, hey, I'm in my apartment, come arrest me. So they arrest him, put him in this little jail cell, which has a computer and a little bed in it. He changes his name, pretend like he works there, finds all the files on all of his friends, and he realizes that the file inside has Artemis in it, so it says that she isn't pretty, but has a great personality. And then he also plays a game of Pac-Man and gets a perfect score, which is really hard to do, apparently. He gets this little thing, which is an extra life. And we go on to the third clue, which is him. He finds a place where he has to play guitar in, like, this ice palace. And he ends up winning an egg. Wait. No, they were all keys. Anyways, all three of those were keys. So he wins the three keys. Bloop, and he realizes that he has to put them inside of Holiday's Castle. Right? There's three little keyholes. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And he realizes he can get there. But the bad guys are guarding the castle. So as he gets there, he realizes that he needs help. So he sends help to all the people around. So Artemis shows up, a bunch of other people show up, so then it's this huge battle. Bad guys realize they can't win, so the main bad guy like takes this holy hand grenade, and he starts throwing it at them, right? Everyone dies, including all the bad guys, right? But all of a sudden, this little thing starts flashing, and it's the extra life. So then... The nerd comes back, boop, and he unlocks the Holiday Castle. Boop, boop. Holiday shows up, and he's like, hey, what up, man? You win, and you should destroy the VR, but you don't have to. So then he gets out of the VR, and they end up in this Lord of the Rings world, and he starts looking for Artemis, and he ends up realizing that she's in the back of a maze. 
And then we go on and we see that he ends up falling in love with her and kisses her. And that's the end of Ready Player One.